Hello, hello, everybody. How are you? Happy Friday. I had to think about it for a second. It's a Friday. It's actually a beautiful day, though. I Somebody said it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So welcome to Friday Night Chalking with Sarah. I am Sarah with Sarah's Clean Slate, and we are going to do some fun um, decor, home decor. I actually am super excited about it, so... Um, go ahead and share love, sprinkle it around, let me know if you sprinkled it, and we will do a drawing at the end of the live for my friends who have sprinkled. So please let me know that you have sprinkled, so that way I can get your name written down on my list that's over here, even though it's hidden under my bed. So you guys, I am super excited. So let me show you what I've been working on. I love this... Looks a little boring right this second, right? Well, I have this gorgeous little magnet. And, ah, it's on a magnet, can you tell? So let me put it on here. It did stand up straight. I shook it off earlier. There you go. I just had to get it, make sure I get it on. And I cut this out and painted it all. And it's super, super cute. And so I wanted to be able to do it. And I might actually go back in and put a secondary magnet just to give it a little bit more... Um, Although I am doing this and it's not coming off. So it's super cute, even though it's not straight anymore. So I wanted to make it interchangeable so that as you feel like it, you can pull it off and put something new on. So I've been crafting all afternoon and getting some ideas of some things that could go on the inner circle. So I did like a shiplap, uh, shiplap board and then I stained this and then we put the metal plate on there and we're going to go from there. So... Let's show you what we've got going on. And if you are here, oh, you guys, I forgot to turn the comments on. Where did they go? Well, hello, Bernie. Hey, Linda. Oh, see, I totally was not seeing the comments. That is crazy. Let me see. There you go. See? All right, so let me get my pen. And so I have this fabulous table, which I love dearly. Let's see, who told me they sprinkled? Well, hello, Miss Erin! Got a fun project if you hang around. And for those who are sprinkling the love tonight, I'm going to be giving away Bernie, Alenda, who else sprinkled? Let me know if you sprinkle Bernie and Linda. Okay, so this is what is going to be up for grabs tonight. Look at this, so I'm gonna be working, it's not glued on, can you tell? So, but it looks really cute when it's all put together. Look how cute that is. So I'm working on a tiered tray. So I'm working on some designs for a tiered tray that will be part of uh, maybe later on in this live. Right now I'm gonna be working on the um, round board and that's what we're actually gonna work on right now. I saw your oldest and youngest, oh you did! Oh, were they shopping? My daughter works for Shipped, and sometimes she takes the baby with her. So, I had a friend come down today. She is on her way to Texas to say goodbye to her mom. Whew, a little rough. Uh, her mom is not doing so well. And so, uh, we went to do some shopping uh, before she headed to Texas. I'm like a nice halfway point. She's also, she. we have been friends for... Uh, 20 some years yep oh yes they came looking for me at the shop and um, I hadn't made it that far I went in down to the shop yesterday and I removed all the Christmas and put some Valentine's but not enough and some um, St. Patty's Day stuff and um, I have got to go do some more so if you guys are downtown Riverside and you ever want to take a peek Sarah's Lean Slate is actually in downtown Riverside with some finished product which this, when I'm all done with it, will actually go there. So let's take a look at what I'm doing because I think it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so can everybody get a good view of the table? I feel like I'm far away on the table today. Can you guys all see? Because um, I feel like... Okay, so what I did, let's do this one first. So I cut my piece of wood... And I painted it a really pretty, lovely pink. I gotta get to the right spot. Ha uh ha. -huh. 
and we engraved it with some I love you's in the background. See how cute that was? So I have someone looking for me. How weird is that? Um, da -da -da -da. Okay. Hello, Rebecca Burns. How are you? Had a customer looking for me. That's that's cute. So, okay. So anyway, so we engraved the I love you and we painted it and we cut it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to chalk the middle of it with our Valentine minis. So I've been debating whether I should put like Happy Valentine's Day or if I should put February 14th or I could put um, hugs and kisses. What do you guys think? So that is what, and then when we're all done, it will come over here and slide on top. We'll put a magnet and then that way you have a little bit of Valentine's. My ship lap was backwards. See? Ta-da! And then you have a Valentine's decor. So you just pull this off. You'll put your Valentine's decor on the top. So we'll hot glue. So let's, I'm doing good, Miss Rebecca. I'm doing good. I am keeping busy, busy, busy. Um, we just got back from leadership, of course. So which guy, which one do you guys think we should do? I'm, I'm leaning towards either the February 14th, the Happy Valentine's Day, or the Hugs and Kisses. I need people to vote. Give me a vote. All right, let me see. Where's my comments? Give me a vote, you guys. Ta -da -da -da. I'm looking. Anybody voted yet? Okay, so we'll put this, I'm gonna put this one off to the side for a second till I get a vote and see what you guys are voting on. Oh, I love you too, Rebecca. All right, so the other one I want to do and this this one it's we painted it a beautiful like blue teal isn't that a beautiful and what we're going to do is we're going to put love makes our house a home and then we'll put the magnet on it so let's go ahead and chalk because I already know what color oh Rebecca the okay Aaron says hugs and kisses Bernie says the happy Valentine's and Rebecca says XOXO well girls you guys are gonna have to get I got one 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 we're gonna have to work on that okay so we're going to put, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we're going to try to center it a little bit, but I am going to try to bring it over as far as possible so that I have, so let me, what I like to do is I like to look at, make it go up, I point it to the light so I can kind of see where it sits on my circle. That looks like a good spot for it because what we're going to do, I'm going to have all this open space, so we're actually going to paint a little house and a little heart and glue them on. How cute is that, right? What do you guys think? Okay, so obviously the heart is gonna have to be red. So we might want to paint the house a different color. So we'll have to think about that. What have you been up to, Rebecca? All right, so we're gonna get our chalk paste. And this is something that you can get out of the catalog, so that's super fun. I'm building some kits to do a tiered tray. So some of the stuff tonight we may actually do after I do these will be for the tiered tray. So some of it's chalk couture and some of it is just wood cutouts that I'm painting to add to it. So I put white, I put water in this paste yesterday and I've actually ordered chalk paste from corporate because we have our brand new formula of dreamy creamy chalk paste and I'm dying to try it. I do have some new, um, I think I have a, a hot pink and some shimmer. Though the shimmer would have been really cute. So, trying to decide, I think maybe we could paint the house in a light uh, blue maybe. See how cute is that? 
right? Okay, so we're going to put this over here to dry. I got a mess going on over here. I've been crafting on and off all day. Let's see. Work, mentor groups, you got your tree down, customs, lives, posting, you know, the usual. Yes, yes, same here, same here. Okay, so we're going to set this over here to the side and let it air dry for a few minutes. And then we'll put this up here so that it's not in the way. And if you have sprinkled family and friend, isn't that a pretty color? So I found these paints um, online. And they're like farmhouse color paints, so they're all they all have that rustic vibe to them. They're a little bit less, I was gonna say vibrant. They just have that vintage tint to them. And so this is one of the ones that I found. Super, super cute. So we're gonna grab our wipe. And I hate getting stuff washing all these transfers at the end of a live. And it's nice to show people um, that they're reusable and I just wash them. And I usually have my pretty wooden table underneath for you guys to enjoy the view of, but since I'm doing a lot of painting and I don't want that all over my table, I'm cheating and using my work mat, which is a wonderful thing because it measures. I do love my work mat, but yeah. And then I have a towel over here off the side. So now that it's nice and wet, you always lay it sticky side up. Let's see, Erin just ordered some adorable heart services. Oh, I need to go look. Hello, Miss Bonnie. I'm making something that you might need. So just so you know. Let me show you what we're up to, Miss Bonnie. Okay, so let's dry my surface. What's really fun about this is that it's so customizable. So if people, we can do them in a kit and you guys can paint them the colors of, the, of your choice or you can have me make it, I just always, you know. All right. My work, since I washed my workspace, it was a little wet, but okay. All right. There we go. Now, this is probably pretty dry right now. So we're going to... Grab our house, and we need to paint our house. Let me grab this paper towel out. So I know I want to do the heart in red, obviously, because that's an easy sell. That's an easy choice. So we're going to paint our heart red. And this is just, its I like metallic paints because I think they just end up having a really pretty um, glim they, they You know, when the, the sun catches them in certain ways, I think they show off really well. Yes, I'm doing like a beach themed sign today. So you'll have to watch. And we can customize it with whatever you want on the front. And But we're gonna make it also for the seasons. Okay, so now the question is, see how cute our little red heart is? I don't know if you guys can see it. And since this is blue and that is white, I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna make it a beige because the beige, or maybe black, well, we could do a, nah, it's the same color blue, that's not, oh, there's my beige. Thinking beige, because beige and blue goes really well together. And the only reason is, is I did, um, I, I, what I, I did um, tape it up, but it apparently did not, um, The lip paper lifted. So, all I'm doing is I'm just kind of going over my edges. And it is just a small house. So, if I don't like it or I think it's, oh, let's turn the, this on. If it's too beige, I'll just get another one. We'll just change its color. So, you could paint these with regular acrylic paints. You could paint them. Sometimes I water down my chalk paste and I paint them with that. But they dry really fast. When you use the chalk, you know, see, oh, that's cute. Okay, then we'll use the little dryer. Okay, now he's pretty dry. 
That didn't take too long. And then we can drop the heart inside of it. Ta-da! So what we'll do is, hey, Shannon. Okay, so we're just going to put our house like right here. And then we're going to add our little heart to get a little bit. Tell me that's not the cutest. Okay, we got to we got to glue it on though. So we need my hot glue. And I have these tiny, tiny keys. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually put a tiny key over here or down here. I think I like it up here better. Yeah, see? Give it a little bit of 3D. Okay. So let me know if you have sprinkled. That lets me know. Okay. What is everybody doing with their Friday night? Bonnie, if you're still there, how's your packing coming? Okay. So let's see if I have... Not yet. It's going to drive me crazy, of course, because I want to do it right now. And I always forget to turn my hot glue gun on. And let me see. Um, how big were the hearts, Erin? Like big hearts or like little hearts? Okay. And what did I do with the magnets? My table is amazing. Oh, there they are. So we'll get a magnet out because we're going to need one of those. And these magnets actually came from the Dollar Tree. Super cool. I actually love them because they're not super fat. Some of the magnets I bought were really wide, so it lifts the design so far away. Slow, well, you lived in that house for a long time. Some were nine inches, ooh. The dollar store had one or two, so I brought, okay, let's see. I may have to hop up and grab some more hot glue because I'm getting close to, it still doesn't want to come out yet, come on. I might have to scooch it over for a minute. Okay, did anybody give me, oh, did anybody give me a, oh, they had good wood grain. Nice. Okay, I'm going to get another stick of glue real quick. And like I said, my new table has all kinds of space, which is amazing, but I still seem to fill it up like you would not believe. And oh, my camera moved, you guys. Like you guys are staring half of my body versus more of the craft area. I should probably, is it bugging you guys? Are you guys okay? Okay, I'm gonna have to go look at Michael's then. All right, so we got there, oh, do we have glue yet? Okay, we got glue, all right. So let's glue the key on. You guys like the key? I think the key's cute. That's a little bit of pizzazz, right? There we go. And then we're going to put our house. I'm just putting, these are not things that are going to be, you know, you can weather, like you could spray it and put it so that you could do it like so that it'll go outside. But this is generally something you're going to probably put inside. I mean, I guess you could do both. Some people could put it on a door. Ah, no. Get in there. Oh, I got some hot glue. There we go. What do you think? Let me bring it up closer so you guys can see a little bit better. Isn't that cute? I keep always forgetting that I have to like tilt. Such a cute little project and so easy. So now what we'll do is let it make sure it's nice and dry. And I'm going to make sure, since it's round, I'm just going to put a dollop of hot glue on the back of the magnet and then do my very bestest to get the magnet in the middle of yeah. Okay, you guys ready for some magic? It is cute, right, Bernie? Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna, I'm gonna have some kits for sale. So, that way, 
Okay, so now you have your shiplap and you have your brown layer and then you have your magnet and ta -da! But when you're feeling, I just sent glue. But when you're feeling beachy, you just pull this off and you put, are you ready, Bonnie? That one on. Isn't that cute? But you can swap them out. So you can do seasonal, like a summer. And I was even thinking one of these should have um, sea animals, Bonnie, like um, an octopus or coral or some, you know, something like animals. Okay, so you guys ready? See how cute? It's just a magnet. Just a magnet, and I have like stronger magnets too. So okay, so we'll set these off to the side up here so you can see it. All right, and I like the three. This one, I painted it with chalk couture paint, but I made it first, so I wanted to see how it looked. All right, somebody voted for hugs and kisses. Somebody voted for XOXO. Somebody else voted. See, isn't it cute? I was super excited. I was like, it's, I, you know, sometimes you make things and you're like, okay, that's cute. And then sometimes you make things, you're like, oh my word, that is so cute. So originally, I ended up making this and I was going to do something like this. Now, these colors obviously do not match. So I may end up redoing this uh, or this one and making it matching colors. But I liked the engraving hearts and I liked the you lose like all the engraving. So I thought I would chalk on it for now. And then um, I may, it may be something that I revamp in a little bit. But let me see. I did cut it out. So like if you want to build a kit, then I can do that. And like what I'm thinking is, is what I'll do is I'll offer the base at a price. I haven't gotten, you know, I'm, it's still in the like, I'm thinking about it stages. So like exactly how to do it all. But like, you know, I'm thinking, cause I was gonna put it in my shop as well. So like the base comes at a certain price and then every add-on is a price and you can, you know, take home one add-on or you can take home 12 add-ons. So I was gonna, even thinking about trying to make like abnormal ones, like a coffee one. And I've, obviously I'm gonna do like the Easter and the, the four, oh, that's, we're gonna do that one. So, um, did we, guys, okay, I think I'm gonna do hugs and kisses. Someone said hugs and kisses, so we're gonna just go with that. So we're just gonna put the hugs and kisses in the middle. And here's the other thing about this one that I made. My heart is not quite centered. So we're still gonna chalk him and we're still gonna use him, but obviously you guys, I'm gonna probably, I even have all these little hearts that I might try to use later. They're in a different design. So I have been cutting things out like crazy today. So, and I, of course I'm working, and some of this is for the tiered tray and some of this is for um, just, for like this, the live, I was working on getting ready for the live, but you know, sometimes you can make them coincide. I like togetherness. So, and I almost, I thought the black would show up better. And obviously red is not going to match. All right, come on, get my finger underneath here. Oh, that's cute, you guys. See? Now, I don't have anything 3D on it yet, so I may come back in with some little wooden hearts and glue them on after they're painted. Yesterday, you know what? I have leftover, I have like a white heart running around here, I think leftover from when I did yesterday's live. So, we'll grab our wipes real quick and wipe this off. Oh, okay, so you liked... You got a few from the Dollar Tree. I'm catching up on the text message. So it's weird. I have my iPad over here beside me because it, it like I have comments that are showing up on my computer and then I have comments that are showing up on my iPad and they're different. Like Aaron said something 
So I try to go back and look real quick. Okay, and let me know if you've sprinkled anybody. Let me know so I can write it down. All right, so now this is nice and clean. The nice thing about, I know that I'm taking a few minutes to clean it, is if I clean it right away, it cleans up because it's still wet. It cleans up really fast. So much faster than if I wait till after the live to do it. So, okay. And then I just grab... Okay, so we'll just drop that in the water. Okay, now, let me see if the, um, I think I put it over, oh, I do. I have a white heart from yesterday. Now the pink doesn't quite match, but I could totally come in and do, I don't like the pink one. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, is it legit the only thing I dislike about... Wait. What is the only thing you dislike about Chalk Cut Tour? I'm missing it. The cutouts? So... Hang on, I said you're answering something I said earlier and I can't remember. Okay, so I'm not sure how I feel about this heart, you guys. I was gonna put, I think I need smaller ones like this. These are, des, uh, des, these are going to be used in a different, so I'll have to cut out more, but I could do something like this. Yeah, I might need, yeah, I think I need small ones like that, don't you? Right? I think that looks better. Oh, cleaning! Yes, yes, cleaning! You are correct. Sorry. See, I knew my brain went on vacation. I was like, wait, what is she referring to? Okay. So I think I'm going to end up putting some hearts, but these are actually set aside for a different project. So I'm not going to do use. I need all of these. Okay. So we'll set him off. Is he dry? Oh yeah. He's already dry. Oh, but we can put the magnet on it so you guys can see. Yeah. Well, see, and that's why I like to clean them right away. Because then it's easier. And when I finish the live and I say goodnight, I don't have hours of cleaning after. All right, so I'm just going to turn it over. Find the center as much as possible. See, and not all of them have to be 3D. I just like them to be 3D. And like I said, here I did make this one, and it's bugging me a little bit because I'm pointing out my, fault, my flaws. My heart is not centered. I needed to bring it down so it was more centered. So there's a good chance I'm actually going to redo this one. And I may actually cut the wood out, like do the I love yous everywhere, cut the heart out in wood and overlay it on top and put the hugs and kisses on that. But then I can make this heart either a darker pink or a white. And that way we've got the pink, the white, and the black. Huh? But for now, he's still... Looks super cute, right? I gotta do. I gotta tilt him this way. I gotta do it right. You see, it's always opposite. Isn't that cute? So, and then when you're ready, you just pop it off, and you just put your other one on. Easy peasy. Except I didn't center it, and I did a. I like. I did a metal plate so it kept it thin. But literally, the metal plate came. I got the magnets out the Dollar Tree, and the metal plate was with the magnets. So I'm going to go back and get like six more of those because that is an amazing thing, right? And then I just take it off and put this one on, right? And then because it's a metal plate, you can kind of play with it and put it wherever you want. Tell me that is not the cutest. Okay, and technically, this is the other one I'm working on. If I don't like this one, I can even do the square. And then I have, this is what all these little hearts are for. So I'm going to paint them red and then do that in black. And even that will look cute on it because it's the perfect size. So that's just for later. Okay. All right. So we've done an everyday one. 
and we've done a beach themed one and we've done a hugs and kisses one so I'm thinking we need an Irish one don't you think we need an Irish one so this transfer is from the vintage truck add-on and then I have a couple four leaf clovers that we're gonna I think we'll paint them white first because while they're drying we'll chalk the luck so let's grab the white paint this is like a milky actually no I'm gonna do with white I'm gonna go with bright white only because my chalk paste is bright white so what is everybody doing with their weekend I'm always curious to see what you guys are up to I actually do not have a show or anything this weekend. <clears throat> All right, so I did not clean this one, so he's a little murky. Now, and I did not, um, my four-leaf clover, I would have painted him green, but I decided to paint the back of it. Oh, well, that was good, Sarah. Apparently, we're going to paint both sides of this four-leaf clover because I totally just dropped him in the paint. And then I just kind of... But since I painted the round green instead of white, I decided to figure the four-leaf clovers. Chalking and cleaning your house. That's a good plan. So, well, I decided, Erin, I needed to put some stuff in the booth. Like, I, I cleaned it out. So, now, here, okay, we're going to drop this over here. And then we're going to pick up this one. I usually grab a paper towel and use it to paint on. Hang on, I'll grab my, this is my messy, messy. So I found these animal pads or whatever you want to call them. And they, they're they really great for crafting. I had no idea. I saw someone else use them and I was like, oh, and then you just toss it when you're done. And you don't have to wipe off your table. How ridiculously cool is that? This one has stain on it, so it kind of stinks. Because the middle section of my wood over here, I don't know what you want, this round woody thing. We need to give it a name, you guys. Let's give it a name. What are we going to call this interchangeable thing? Interchangeable round. Let me see. You still have Christmas up? So I did white on the clover because the round it's going on is already green. And so I figured if I did green on green, it would not show up very well. So I'm doing them backwards. I guess I could have painted the round white, but I was afraid that it would be too much white. So... Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, this four-leaf clover lost part of his body. So we're just going to do a quick, quick, quick. And I like that it has the burnt edges a little bit, so it gives it that rustic farmhouse. So I kind of just, I kind of brush it, but I don't, if you can see, I don't, it's really hard to see because it's so small. But I don't take all the brown off. I just kind of put a little bit of white so that it has a little bit of, um, that gives it that vintage farmhouse look. Okay, so now I can pull this off to the side and we'll chalk C. So here's my, my round and we're just going to get our white chalk paste and put the word luck on there. So I'm going to put it nice and low, not too low, obviously. And truth is, some of the L is going to fall off. I'm not going to be able to chuck the whole thing. So what I do is I hold it up to the light to see how centered I am. I think I need to move it over just a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, get all my air bubbles out. That's a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to put this in here because or else the paint will never come off. Grab a little squeegee. I don't need a really big one. Oh, totally could do gold clovers. And I think I originally planned on doing that, Erin. Thank you for saying that. Because I think I didn't want to do white clovers. But that's okay. We can let them have a base coat, right? So let's chalk our luck. And let's go over them with a gold. I think that's a genius idea. And it's funny, now that you say that, I actually thought of that and then forgot. Because I'm... It's Friday, you guys, and I forget things on Friday. <clears throat> yes. Okay. This white is like... Oh, that looks cute. All right, we'll lay him over here off to the side. We'll wash him in a second. And apparently I was flicking stuff everywhere. Okay, so let's get our wipe. I put it down, but apparently I dropped it onto the floor. Now we don't want to use it. So... Just gonna wipe this little, I cut my finger today and I'm not even sure how. It's like a little paper cut. I don't remember even doing it. But when I'm washing my transfers and using, you know, this is just a water wipe, but the chalk paste is getting inside the little cut. It kind of burns. Well, hello, Miss Grace. Miss Grace full of secrets. Oh, thanks, Rebecca Burns. Um, isn't it cute, Erin? I love it. Okay. So we're just going to let it air dry over here off to the side. And then we're going to paint our clovers. All right. So I have this, what is it, Sunset Gold, or I have a Lustrous Gold. So one gold is darker than the other. I'm leaning toward this Lustrous Gold, if I'm honest. I think it will be a prettier um, design. Like, I think it'll look prettier on the clovers. So, I gotta get. Are you going to bed? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do my devotions. And they okay. Want, they want me back at their house early so we can drive oh. to Long Beach. Oh, right? that's right. I forgot you're going to Long Beach. Okay. Love you, Love you too, bud. So, he, Clayton is going. You owe me. You got some splaining to do, girl. But I won't announce that on the live. That's embarrassing. But you know me, I love to embarrass you. I think you need to come down for a visit. That's what I think, Grace. It's been forever since I've seen you. Okay, so let's get this thrown away. Get it off my fingers. You guys, I'm gonna spend like 10 minutes after the live putting my, cleaning my nails out. Okay, all right. Get our little painted on puppy pad. Did, do you know if there will be a clover sham? No, I don't know if there will be, but, um, you know, yes, Grace, let's plan a girl's day. Absolutely. And, um, Kimberly, we know we can, like, cut one out. Now, it won't be as fat. Did I lose one of the shamrocks, you guys? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we painted him white, so that was a good beginner, right? Ooh, this is gonna be amazing. Whose idea was that I painted gold? Who gave me that fabulous idea? Reminded me that that was my original plan. Okay. And who actually decorates for St. Patty's Day? Because that, I always... I didn't used to, and then of course I started doing this, and then I had the ability to, or the excuse to, and it is kind of fun, right? Yes. 
Grace, I always say I'm going to come up and see you, but I just haven't made it that far yet. I make it about as far as Bakersfield, and then my car just slows. That's right, the one that loves all things glitter. Oh, girl. Yes, we could have, well, paint, okay, so here, that's a good idea, and I love all things glitter, too. And I could have, if we could have chalked them with the glitter chalk paste, it would have been really fun. But, okay, I will text you after the live, Miss Gracie. But you need a transfer too, Kimberly. Um, well, the vintage truck cutouts, and there is actually going to be a shamrock in the transfer, in the new catalog. So go take a peek at the new catalog. There is actually a... Um, shamrock and a, it's a Irish blessing I think so there's a good chance for my VIP group and my those who have club couture if they so want I might cut them out of shamrock that matches that fits it I can't get this lid back on you guys it's seriously not going on like it's supposed to okay I'm gonna have to mess with it after ow this is how I cut my fingers okay I'll have to mess with that after okay so now we need them to dry so, do I still have power on my, okay, good, I still have power. So now we're going to, um, where's our magnets? There we are. We could probably put the magnet on the back and then put the shamrocks on the front. So we're going to find our middle ground. Yes, and if you are part of Club Couture, you actually get a free catalog. It's going to be mailed out to you. So if you are if you are part of Club Couture, one will come to you in the mail. How cool. What an awesome company. Because they, you know, they're not free to them. Okay, so we're going to put our shamrock right there. And he's not quite dry, but I think he'll work. We're just going to put a little bit of glue right there. Oh, the, the gold is fabulous. And then we're just going to put one right here and one over there, right? Doesn't that look good? So we'll just put a little bit of hot glue right here. And we'll put a little bit of hot glue right here. Ta-da! And just kind of... What do you think? Let me bring him up so you guys can see. I'll move, I'll move my puppy pad here. Tell me that is not the cutest. And can you see the gold? It really does come out really good. It looks so good on here. And I could have also done a pot of gold. I didn't think about that. Okay, so let's keep testing our theories here. So shiplap, uh, shiplap is usually sideways. So you can put your lucky charm, right? Or you can do hugs and kisses, right? How cute is that? So you could totally fix a hook on the back of here, or you could let it sit on a plate um, holder thing, a bobby. And then an everyday one, right? And beach house. How cute is that? So you have all these options of which ones you like better. And Here's the other one. I decided, but I haven't put, I have, you can guys, I started, I painted this part white already. So he will sit like this. So he's not round. I was, I decided to do a little different. So I'm going to paint all the hearts red and then we're going to do the 14 in black. So it like pops. So I just haven't done that part yet. You guys, um, it is really cute. So if you guys are interested in a kit, you can just tell me, um, I think we're going to do the base. The base will be $12 and then and it'll come with the magnet and um, I'll paint these parts for you 
and then you can decide for another um, seven. So like you can get a whole one for 19. And then, did I say, two? yeah. Um, I should have made it round, but I like to save money where I can. So another seven, you can do uh, I forgot what I, oh, you can do uh, an add-on, see? But I was trying to think of how to do it. You, and if you want three, we can do three for like 18. Now we have three different ones. So, super fun, and I can make them for you. Or if you have the parts to it, you can actually make it yourself if you so choose. But I just absolutely love it. So if you would like, did we give it a name? I don't think we gave it a name. It needs, call it the Circle of Dream Life Season ID. Oh, Circle of Dreams Life Season Stress, etc. Yes, the Circle of Seasons or a Circle. So if you're interested in a kit, let me know. Just write it, leave a comment, and you can tell me which one, and I'm going to make probably a graphic for it if you want oh see look um, if you guys want to stick around while I paint the hearts you're more than welcome to um, or I can say good night I think I turn this off yes but how fun is this see and then I painted these guys white and I'm going to make so over the next weekend I'm actually going to make a tiered tray so these guys are going to be part of the tiered tray so I painted these white and sanded them and then these guys are going to be red and I'm going to start painting them in a few minutes so well, actually that's not that's not true so circle of seasons I second that thank you Aaron circle of seasons okay so this doesn't say XOXO it says OXOX like okay, I'm like I'm dyslexic here XO XO and then I'm gonna put a little bit of twine and then it, you can hang it from your around your tiered tray. And then this is the other thing that's going to go on the tiered tray. We're going to paint it black, red, and white. And then these little hearts are all going to go in here. Aren't they the cutest? Though my Glowforge decided to be a little finicky today. So I have to paint. Did I hear you say as a Club Couture member? Yes, I did, Kimberly. Are you a Club Couture member somewhere? Are you a Club Couture member for me? Um, but yes, as a Club Couture member, you will get a free catalog. So if you are thinking about joining Club Couture, be part of my club. I do things for my VIPs and my Club Couture members all the time. Okay, and then like cut out pieces of wood for you know almost nothing so but my glow force decided to not cut some of my pieces of wood quite the right way so I have to go in and just kind of give it a little bit of I almost need oh you are are you a club couture member um, for a different designer then or is it me and I just don't remember so yes, if you are already a Club Couture member, then you will get a free catalog. It will be mailed to you at the very beginning of um, February. So, and in fact, I got to order from the catalog, early release catalog. So I will have things to share and sell before the release, kind of like I did with the cutting board. So... Um, I have to kind of come in and just get all the extra wood off because it, so I have to kind of come in and cut it off. You're very welcome. And I just kind of come in and sand down the edges and then my hearts will be ready to paint in a few minutes. So, but I don't think you guys want to sit around for that, do you? I think everybody is uh, ready to have a Friday night, movie night inside my house. So, but you guys, thanks for hanging out. I had 
So much fun creating this today. I got the original, the Beach House, the Beach Please came from uh, an Etsy SVG file that I found and I just fell in love with it and I thought it was so cute. And then, so I made it and then I was like, wait a second, I can make this. So all of these were actually just my own creations and I'm actually thinking, and if you guys have a request for one, let me know. Like I'm thinking I need a camper one or a coffee one, obviously a Halloween one and an Easter bunny one. So I'm going to be working on those. And I'm trying to think of like other little fun things that people might like to have. I'm trying to, before I get too crazy, I'm trying to decide how much of a seller, like a big, if it's a going to be a massive seller or it'll be just kind of a like, eh, you know, just because I think it's the bomb, dickety bomb. Um, doesn't mean everybody else will. So you guys have to weigh in and give me a vote. I should have a poll or something about which designs I should create next. But I'm super excited because some of them came out really cute. Like I loved making the house and the fact that I had just a key on hand really helped. So you guys, I hope you have a really fun, oh, good idea. Yes. I will start creating a, maybe with a birthday cake and a can, but cupcake and a candle. I do have a cupcake transfer too. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to make that happen. Um, but yes, one that says happy birthday or something. And then, um, 4th of July. See, okay, you know what, Bernie? I'm totally writing these down. I need a birthday one. Okay, and 4th of July. And I already said I was going to do bunnies because bunnies are cute. And what else? I mean, of course we need one that, okay. Ooh, barbecue for Father's Day. Well, there we go. Father's Day and then Mother's Day. Maybe a rose or something, like a flower. I'm going to have to think about that now. I bet I don't know if I can draw that myself. I'm going to have to think about that. Though, in the new catalog, we have several flowers that are coming out. So it may be I could do the whole background with a flower pattern and then cut out Mother's Day in letters and do that. Thinking. Okay. And I think that's it, you guys. See, so, see now, and I could also do like, you know, like I was going to do this here, so I may redo this one and make these in a hot pink or like a white and pink instead of red. I really like this pink color and I think these two on it, like that looks really cute together. So I may, you know, recreate this and do it better. But again, you learn with trial and error. So see, because I also could do... Like something like that. I don't know. I'm still working on it. I have all these ideas and see. So this started out, you're going to laugh, but the beach one started out like this in a big, big, big one. So I'm probably going to finish this one as well and make a door hanger with it and put the put some beads right here. So you may be seeing this on a live in the next couple of days. So I have to paint it all in the different pieces. And then I'll create a door hanger. So it'll be going into my shop as well. I just, my brain is on like boop, 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 boop. So, and I'll need to look through the new catalog to see what I can convert to work for our circles. But what do you guys think? You think this will be a big seller? Do you think people will like it? You have to let me know. Um, let's see. Do I have any other comments, questions? And as always, in case I forget, I'm always looking for someone to join my team. It's only $99 to join. I'm always looking to have fun and I love to gift my teeny stuff um, and do fun stuff with them. So if you are ever interested in uh, becoming part of the Chaka Tour family, we would love to do so. You think it'll sell? Thanks, Erin. It's one of those, I stink and love it. Then I'm telling myself, okay, but just because you're crazy about it doesn't mean the whole world will be. So oh, I'm going to bring this down here so I can see my face. Um, so if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. And thanks for hanging out on a Friday night. You guys, it's almost 9 o'clock. I think I need to go spend some time with my family. I've been in here crafting all day. But I'm super excited about what I got to create. So, yeah. So I'll see you if I have a chance. I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll be working on 
I'll have finished painting these guys up and I will be working on our tear tray. I'm going to try to build one. I'm super excited about that. So we'll see. So have a great evening. And again, if you have any questions about Club Couture or you want to um, ask me questions about joining, then I'd love to answer them. Leave me a comment below and have a great evening, you guys.